In the wake of the devastating mass shooting that took place in Nashville, Tennessee, leaving six people dead, three of which uh, being children, there justifiably were protests calling for action to address the issue of gun violence in the state of Tennessee and across the country. And individuals who participated in these protests, specifically in Tennessee, um, included three Democratic state lawmakers, um, state representatives, who participated in these peaceful protests and even took it to the House floor, um, the Tennessee State House floor. And Republicans have now responded not by actually putting forward solutions and pushing to address gun violence, but instead expelling two out of the three of those Democratic lawmakers for protesting on the House floor. Now, let me make something clear here. Peaceful didn't commit any crimes, but did break decorum. They weren't called upon to speak, but they were um, making noise anyways. So, the focus now of the Tennessee uh, Republican Party within the House of Representatives in the state of Tennessee is on these lawmakers, not the issue that they were trying to call attention to, which is gun violence, which are these mass shootings, which are the lives being lost, and the focus became expelling two out of three of these Democratic state lawmakers. Take a look from CNN. An extraordinary emotionally charged session marked by tense exchanges and punctuated by boos and chants from onlookers, Tennessee's Republican-controlled House of Representatives voted to expel two black lawmakers but failed to oust a third representative a week after the three Democrats led a gun reform protest in the chamber. And we will take a look at a little bit of video from that protest and then looking at um, some of these lawmakers, uh, what they had to say. And this hasn't happened except for twice since 1860. It's only happened twice since the 1860s um, for much more severe situations, of course, than this. And here's this being reported on ABC News with a little bit of the video from that protest. Last week, Democratic reps Justin Jones, Justin Pearson, and Gloria Johnson led chants and held signs, uh, even a bullhorn, urging their Republican colleagues to pass stricter gun laws after three children and three staffers were killed by a shooter at that school. ABC's Jay O'Brien is following this. So because of what you just saw there, Republicans began to focus, again, I say not on the issue they were calling attention to, not on the solutions that would address that problem, those devastating situations, but instead expelling, um, silencing through their power within this body, two of these lawmakers. Here is Democratic Representative, one of the individuals who was ousted, who was expelled um, in the state legislature responding to this. Take a look. And this is Justin J. Pearson. We and you are seeking to expel District 86's representation from this house in a country that was built on a protest. In a country that was built on a protest. You who celebrate July 4th, 1776, pop fireworks and eat hot dogs. You say to protest is wrong because you spoke out of turn, because you spoke up for people who are marginalized. You spoke up for children who won't ever be able to speak again. You spoke up for parents who don't want to live in fear. You spoke up for, for, for Larry Thorne who was murdered by gun violence. You spoke up for people that we don't want to care about in a country built on people who speak out of turn, who spoke out of turn, who fought out of turn to build a nation. I come from a long line of people who have resisted. Yep. Um, and then I'll also show you Democratic Representative Justin Jones. For so long, this body, drunk with power, has modeled for the world what we know as nothing less than authoritarianism. And today is the climax of that behavior. 
that a week after a mass shooting plagued our community, the most direct action this legislative body takes, or should I say my colleagues on the other side of the aisle are taking, is to expel us for speaking about the issues of weapons of war on our streets. We called for you all to ban assault weapons, and you respond with an assault on democracy. And uh, last video that we'll get to here is of the third Democratic lawmaker who was targeted, attempted to be expelled, but didn't actually end up being expelled while the other two that I just showed you there were. And she got asked, this is uh, Gloria Johnson, why did you not get expelled? Take a look. So, and, and so before we get to what might happen, why were those two expelled and you weren't? Well, I think it's pretty clear I'm a six-year-old white woman and they are two young black men. And that reality just can't be ignored here. Um, nothing represents the incorrect stance of the Republican Party. Yes, in the state of Tennessee. Yes, specifically within their House of Representatives, the Republican majority there. But also nationwide, while there are Republicans who advocate for the correct stance, the prevailing view within the GOP on the state level and on the federal level is so incorrect. It is so against what will actually help to protect lives and make our community safer when it comes to gun violence, as we've discussed extensively over the last while, but especially the last few weeks. We see in other countries, they have different laws when it comes to guns, and they don't see the gun violence that we see. We see in states that implement laws to more properly and reasonably re regulate the gun, how that impacts gun violence. And it's not to say, because this is always what is immediately gone to, that we shouldn't also focus on school safety, um, mental health, general investment in community um, communities to make sure the environment there doesn't yield crimes of all types, but also the gun itself has to be more properly regulated. We can't have the amount of and as loosely regulated guns as we do right now. Otherwise, we will continue to see what we're witnessing and observing, um, the tragedies day after day, the lives being lost day after day, and the response being in one of the states where one of these tragedies just happened to focus on expelling members who were trying to call attention to this issue and being successful in two out of the three is so horrendous. It is so completely incorrect and um, really highlights how broken of a political ideology the general prevailing view within the Republican Party is. It, it highlights that so accurately, and it's truly horrifying.